my name is Lindsay Carrillo and I'm just here to tell you a little bit about my weight loss story. So I am 37 years old. I just turned 37 a few, a few days ago and I am 359 pounds. My highest weight was 465 pounds. So I'm about um, 105 pounds down, 106 pounds down from that. And um, Right now, I'm having a little bit of a struggle because I can't really work out the way I'm used to. Like, I walked about one and a half miles today, but I usually do, like, two-mile walk, and then I usually um, do another, like, mile back and forth to the gym, and then, um, like, an hour of, like, pretty intense Zumba. So, um, I've just been hurting behind my ham, like, my, I think my hamstring, like, behind my knee on my right side has just been um, really sore for a long time and um, they did an x-ray and nothing came back as any kind of problem but um, I don't know if it's sprained or what but it's still kind of acting up and so it's frustrating because um, I'm getting bariatric surgery in six days on April 6, 2017. And, um, you know, a month ago, I was up to that kind of fitness level. I was doing really good with my fitness. And now I'm like, if I can get myself to go walk like a mile a day, it's hard. So it's frustrating because I'd rather be at like kind of the peak of my um, fitness when I did surgery. I wanted to be at like my most healthy when I did the surgery. So it's a little bit hard and frustrating. I wish that that wasn't the case. Um, I still have a few days left that I'm going to try to get to at least that two mile walk a day if I can. But um, I mean, one good thing about surgery is I'll be resting it. I can still walk, but I wouldn't be doing Zumba or anything like that for a month after surgery. So um, I'm getting the duodenal switch loop. I was going to do the duodenal switch for a long time, but then my doctor's um, assistant basically convinced me that the loop is better as far as you absorb more calories, which is unfortunate, but you also absorb more protein and more of your vitamins. So it's healthier overall for you. Um, and it seems like there's only like a 5% weight loss difference. So it's only about like a 10 pound difference that you would weigh like 10 pounds less with the other surgery, but then your health wouldn't be as good as far as your what you're absorbing nutrition wise and stuff. So I figured I'll go with the healthier option that gives me more normal um, stuff than if I went the other route and went the more extreme route. So um, still part of me kind of wishes I was going the other route as far as the calorie absorption and um, stuff and just knowing I would lose the most weight. But I want to be the healthiest overall and I don't think having a bunch of nutritional deficiencies afterwards is, is the best health uh, plan. So, um, anyways, I am, uh, excited. Sorry, something just popped on my screen. I gotta get rid of it. Ah, okay, there we go. Um, I'm excited for surgery. I can't wait. I've been, it's been about a two and a half to three year battle, um, to actually get the procedure. And so I'm excited that, um, it's so close that it's actually coming. And, um, I'm just really praying that they could do the whole procedure at one time because my doctor said because I carry my weight in my abdomen that it could be that they could only do the sleeve and then have to do the other procedure after I lost about 70 pounds. Um, so that would kind of be a bummer since the fact that I um, have waited so long to get this particular procedure and to just get a sleeve wouldn't be what I wanted because you don't have as good of weight loss with the sleeve. You only have like a 45% likelihood of keeping the weight off where with my procedure you have an 80% likelihood to keep the weight off. So I want the chances to um, be to get the weight off better to be better than like 50-50. I like 80-20 odds a lot better. So, um, so I would still get to do the procedure but it would be like another battle to um, have to wait and lose weight and then have to, um, basically go, possibly go through all the clearances again, which you have to get like a site clearance, a heart clearance, a lung clearance. You have to get nutritional, um, somebody talked about nutrition and, um, you have to get like all these different blood tests and you have to get, um, 
I can't remember what the other blood test is called anyways but so I just don't want to have to go through the whole procedure again because your clearances only last a year and for me the, the year will be like coming up so it wouldn't it would be that I'd have to get them all again so that would be really frustrating so I'm really hoping I don't have to do that um so I'm really my my biggest thing is when I wake up that day after surgery my first question besides being like ow I'm in pain I'm sure but my first question is going to be did they do the whole procedure because also I'm living up in Manteca California and I'm from San Diego and like my, my church is there and all my friends are there and I've, I've been really really involved in my church and serving down there and so I'd rather be able to be back home and not be stuck up here where I don't really know anyone. I'm starting starting to meet some people from a church that I just found a few weeks ago. Um, but I would like to get back to my home church and where I serve and the youth, the kids that I work with there. I'd, I'd rather be back with them. So I'm really praying that the whole procedure happens. But basically that's an update on kind of what things are happening right now. And I'll give you guys another update either in a few days or after the surgery. Love you guys. Bye.